Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about event handling using JCR event handling APIs. In this, I'll talk about the APIs, event handling APIs, how you can write that event listener and then we'll have a demo with different different use cases. This event listener is used for listening event at JCR or repository level, means listening the events at node level. This listener can be registered using observation manager. We'll see that event listener are notified asynchronously means suppose there is a five events triggered at exactly same time. So there is a no priority of any event which will be notified to event listener first. So they can be, you know, notified asynchronously and it's only the event which has permissions or which has access uh, for that session, those will only be notified to this event listener. We'll see that in detail. You will understand this in the demo part. This event listener is used for listening seven events standard node add, node remove, node move, persistent, property add, change, or removed. So either you can use this uh, uh, variables, means constants, or you can use number. These are the standard events this event listener will listen, but you can use some hack and you can listen for other events as well. But that is not required because there's other event handlers APIs available for that purpose. Means apart from this, suppose you want to listen page publish or page create event. So page create event, you can listen using this by using some hack, but that's not required because there's a separate APIs available for that. So we'll talk that event listening in a separate tutorials. Now let's understand how you can write that. To write that event handler, you have to implement event listener. As soon as you implement this event listener, you have to implement a method called on event. This method is basically the event handler. But you wrote this event handler, but your event listener should be registered. You, this, this event listener or means this event handler should know how to listen the event or which event it will listen. You definitely wrote this event handler, but there's a one part missing event listening. So you have to define uh, what event it will listen and what will be the behavior. For that, you have to register your listener using observation manager. So how you will be doing that? First, you need to get session, but session you will be get using uh, repository for that you can have repository sling repository and using a method called login service then you can get session inside you will be seeing the login service i'm still using my own service user which i'm using for all tutorials so that means using this service user will get a session the second parameter is null second parameter is workspace so if you want to get a default workspace then you have to give null otherwise you have to define workspace in our cases we generally use default workspaces so that means this session now this session so whatever the events or the path this session has permissions only those event will be notified which i talked to you in a third or fourth point okay once you get session using this session you will get workspace this is the default workspace and from that workspace, you will be getting observation manager using observation manager. Now you are adding a event listener. Basically, this event listener will be responsible for listening event. And this method will be for handling event if you want to perform some task. So this event listener, this has seven parameters. Please understand this. These are very important. The first parameter which is this this is defined event handler so right now if you want to use the standard event handler means this you define this that means it is saying okay i want to use this event handler if you want to write some customize or some different event handler you will be defining here okay now the second parameter is the event what kind of event your event listener will be listening to the standard seven events you can define here all you can add all using separated by pipe symbol that means it it is or either any of the event trigger so this event listener will be listening that the third one is the path under which under which path this 
event listener will be listening to. So any event which is triggered under this EN path, it will be listening to those events. Third one is deep. This is important. So is deep true? This, this can have either true or false. So let's say if it is false, let's discuss about the false first. So if I make false, so it will be listening under this path at only first level. So if you add any node directly under to this EN, this will be listening only to those events. Let's say you create a page under EN test. So it will be listening for that node test means page. But whatever you create under that page means the subtree of that level one, it will not listen for those events. So if you make it true, it will listen for all levels of events means under this EN, US EN, at any level, any subtree, it will be listening for all events. So it should be true. UUID null means it will check AM add a unique IDs. It will check only if a particular this node has means under this if a node has a particular standard UUID. It will listen for that or under that. So you can pass a array array of unique IDs. So generally if you keep it null that means if there is a no, no filter and it will listen for all means it will not consider any unique ID. Node type this is also null. So node type means right now if you give null that means it will be listening for event for all kind of nodes means this can be primary type of node can be any type but you can restrict that behavior by providing a array of your own primary type let's say i would say uh, i want to listen only for cq colon page so you can create a array and you in array you can define cq colon page and you can pass on array here instead of null so in that case it will listen only and only for cq colon page kind of nodes uh, seven one is a uh, you, you can say no cache it can be true or false so what it will does if it is true then means it will ignore the events which are triggered using the session by which this event listener is registered that means so I'm using this session okay if any event is triggered using this session what do you mean by this session so if any event is triggered by this user service user if any event is triggered using this service user and if it is true that event will be ignored so this is this is basically not useful because whatever the session you'll get that user will not log in it's a service user so but in case if any event is triggered if you want to ignore any event which is triggered by this service user or means this session you have to make it true but I'm making it false for now now you must understand event handler. This event handler means on event has a iterator of events. Why the iterator? Why not object? Means let's say whenever you perform any action, there are multiple nodes created. Let's say you are creating a page. For page, there will be multiple nodes. One is CQ page, one is JCR content node. So it will contain, this iterator will contain events for all nodes. So that's why it is a iterator. You can iterate this and you'll get the information of multiple nodes. Even if you add a property to a particular node, that is also an event. So whatever in a particular action, whatever the events you trigger, this event listener will have all these events. So you can get this information uh, using this event iterator and you can perform your own task as per your need, own handler as per your need. Now let's move to demo part and see the different use cases of this. So as I explained, I wrote a event listener. I implement this event listener and I implemented this method on event, which is required. And then using repository, I got this session and using session, I added this event listener. All this I have is seven parameters, which I explained. So I'm right now I'm listening only two properties node added and property added. So it will be listening for only these kind of two events under when I add something, some node under this path means under accordion. 
and what I'm doing here in this handler so currently I am just showing you that information means type of event and the path of node or property in logs once you have all this information you can do whatever you need as per your requirement so in that way let's say uh, you want a node which is basically modified or added or the property added so using this uh, event iterator next event get path so there are number of methods available you can use that and then you, by getting your required node or information you can perform your action so let me build this let me deploy I built that now let me create a page under the path which I define so I define under accordion so under this path let me create a page so as soon as I create this page so there should be information inside log about these events so if we go to the logs you will see it is showing information in logs like if you see that type is means event type is equal to 4 4 is for property added so it is showing okay path is equal to this and property added is created by and you will be seeing uh, the type is equal to 1 means node created so it is showing jcr created and prior. if i make this is deep is equal to false that means now it will create a or event only at uh, the first level under this accordion so if I create a page under this I created a page demo one if you go to the logs you will see this event the event is triggered only for this node right which is the CQ page it did not create or uh, trigger any event for child nodes mean JCR content because I define here only the false means is deep is equal to false okay now if you see the node type i created a array and i'm defining only the type is cq page content and i'm defining that array here instead of null that means now it will only and only trigger for the node of type cq page content if you will be seeing here the jcr node is of cq page content so it will trigger only for jcr content node not for others so here you can define any number of the page type by which you can restrict the event listener for what kind of node you want to listen i created a page called demo2 but while creating that page if you see logs it listen only for this jcr content and the property added not for the CQ page or any other node that way you can restrict what kind of nodes you want that event and listeners should listen for the event I hope you understood if you have any question please do comment thank you